So we're out on site. I've set the analyzer up the way I want it and we're making the measurement that I want. Now we want to save the screen capture for including in a report or perhaps emailing to a client. Now there's a very quick way of doing this. I'm just going to show you first how to set it up. So I'm going to press shift then file and set up and here we change the settings for the quick save capability in the analyzer. So the quick save type here, I've got a choice of JPEG, trace data, state data, etc. But JPEG's what I want. And I do want to have quick save automatic naming on. So each image I save will be given a new name. And I can change the prefix here, currently set to N934X. I'll leave it at that for now, but you could type in, for example, repeater site 27. I'll press return and we'll go back to the main screen. Now to save that as a JPEG, all I have to press is shift and save and it prompts me with a new name. Uh, it's automatically come up with N934X underscore one, but I could type in a new name if I wanted and I'll press enter. That JPEG is now being saved to the internal memory on the analyzer. Now, if I'm now making a new measurement at a new site, I can simply press shift, save again, and it prompts with a, a new name, this time N934X underscore two. I'll just press enter again, and it saved another JPEG. Now, if I press shift and file, and we select the view file type to JPEGs, you can see here in the internal memory, it says media type internal, and we're looking at JPEG files. You can see here the two new JPEGs that I've stored. Now there's lots of user memory inside the analyzer, so you can save lots of JPEG images inside the unit without uh, needing any kind of uh, PC or memory device. But perhaps later or back at the workshop, or you might want to copy these, those files onto your USB memory stick for transfer into your PC. So how do we do that? We'll press Shift and File, and we've got the view type set to JPEG. So it's just showing me the JPEG files. So I can scroll down and select those. If I press File operations, I can go select, and you see there's a green tick up here, and let's select that one as well. And then we can go copy to, and I'll select USB, and I'll press copy. And you can see now the media type here is USB, and both of those two JPEG files have been copied to my USB memory stick. I can now unplug this and plug it into my PC, and include those JPEGs in a report, or perhaps email them to a client. If you'd like further information on these products, including demonstration guides, operating manuals or application notes, please visit the website shown below.